Hey guys, Jordan here, and I have a little upgrade that you can do to your Tesla Model S. Uh, this part uh, fix fixes the issue with the galvanic corrosion between the steel hood latch and the aluminum hood. A uh, big issue that uh, I've seen with a lot of these Teslas um, is the, uh, the hood starts to rot right around the, uh, the latch. So what I've done is created a plastic, a thin plastic uh, sheet that, uh, that acts as a barrier that goes in between the latch and the hood and that will prevent the rust in the future. So to start this process, we're gonna wanna take a caliper or some type of measuring device and measure the distance between the edge of the bolt and the edge of the hood um, and what this is going to do is so that I can put the hood latch back in the exact same position because it does adjust side to side and you don't want to lose that adjustment. So from the highest point of the bolt to the edge of the hood, for me that was 8.09 millimeters. Then we're going to grab a torque set and to undo the hood, it's going to be a T40. So we're going to loosen it. I'm going to loosen this counterclockwise. I'm going to speed this up with a power tool once I've loosened it. So once I've done that, you're simply going to take your hood latch spacer and you're going to place that on the hood latch and then tighten the bolts into the slots and align the two. I'm using a power tool. You do not have to use a power tool. You can use all hand wrenches. So now I've got the hood latch and the plastic piece nice and flush together. Now we're gonna go and take this and put it on the hood. I'm just gonna go side to side, try to evenly bolt it down. And then I'm gonna lightly torque, torque it, not go crazy. Before you torque it, you want to check the distance. So I can tell that mine needs to come over just a little bit, so I'm going to loosen it. And then measure this and push it lightly until we get it, which now it is in alignment. Then I'll come over, finish tightening it. I'm holding it towards the inside of the wrench so I don't go crazy tight. And you're just putting about, just snug it. You're not, I'm not, if you notice, I'm not killing it. And once that's finished, the, the hood latch spacer is installed and we'll now be able to protect the hood. And if you have to do any adjustments on the alignment of the hood, there are two feet right here. Uh, and these feet, you'll notice spin right here. And if you have to bring the hood up, you'll loosen these. You can adjust these and adjust the alignment in, lace, in case that this throws it out of adjustment. And you'll notice now the hood alignment has been set perfectly so that this is not too high or too low. And that's how you get these panels flushes by twisting those little feet, by loosening them or tightening them. And that's the process of installing the, uh, the anti-rust spacer. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe, like, comment, and uh, let me know if there's any other uh, parts or upgrades that you'd be uh, recommend recommending me build. Uh, thanks for watching, and have a great day, and stay green.